Okay, what do we say? <laughs> do you know what to say? No. Hi guys, uh, welcome. This is Brian and I reacting to <laughs> Moves retirement video. Oh gosh, gosh, this feels awful. Not my idea. But I did ask him privately, could we do this before doing it out of respect for him? And he, he graciously said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is your idea. Don't start acting all like. Right, all right, all right. Let's watch it. There's not much else to say. Yeah, let's just watch it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few days. A lot of things to settle. We got a million views on it. Stepping away from YouTube full time. Whole bunch of likes. Very few dislikes. Honestly, very few moo haters, which is good. We have seen it before. We're just kind of professionally reacting to it. And Brian commented, love you, man. If you want to read this, you should do it in your voice. <laughs> Go on, Brian. I know this is probably the worst thing. Go on, Brian. You can do it, Brian. Just think of a monthly check. Hey, man, I'm only commenting this to look like a good person. I'm actually glad you're leaving. God <laughs> damn, it's been a painful few years for you being a little soy boy. Can't wait to get you out of the group. Good luck. And Brock hearted that message. Would you believe it or not? <laughs> I got 35,000 likes, guys, and Brock hearted that message. But what Brian actually said was, he won't say it because he's too much of a soppy bitch. <laughs> You're a great guy. And this was hard to watch because we will miss you. I've been looking at my screen for 10 minutes trying to think of what to type, and I can't. I didn't know what to say. It was actually kind of hard. I was there like, what, like, what yeah, do no, you say? He told us like a month before, maybe a month yes, and a bit. Yes. So we had an idea this was coming, but not until the video landed. You're like, oh, uh, shit. It, it, yeah, it is real. He, he announced it in the group chat about a, yeah about a month ago. So we were kind of prepared, but at, when it happens, you're not really prepared. At the same time, it's like there's only so much you can be ready for. But uh, you're the man. That's all I can think of. <laughs> After ten minutes, he's like, "All right, that you're means, the man." <laughs> it's but it's it's hard. It's hard. You're probably the worst person. Like when something really bad happens to someone else, you're probably the worst person to talk because you just won't know what to say. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. No, 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 no. But like, when you watch the whole video, it's like, what, like, what can you say? Oh well, it's been fun. Like, what, like, what, what do you say? Like, when you're saying you're the man, it's like he's putting his family first. He's being yeah. the man of the house. Like, it really takes a lot for someone that is based on a, a somewhat ego-based career. For sure, yeah. You gotta swallow your pride and be like, what's best for my family? And putting your family and other people before you is a very, uh, it's, it's admirable, very manly thing to do. You're the man. Since you're the man. <laughs> then let's let's read one say let me read your one sorry guys i have to make this about me <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it would be a no to terrorize a react if we weren't in a, a silent competition so sorry oh, i'll read it actually or do you want to read it in my voice i feel like you'd have more fun that way no no no, you do it sorry guys oh wait thank you brock for the honor of rag of the ragging on me i even type oh, nice <laughs> well done edit of ragging on me one last time haha <laughs> God bless you, your new job, and your family. What a great comment that is. <laughs> what a great guy I am. Someone's already looking to replace me. Damn, dude, the grave ain't even yeah. fucking cold yet. And Joey's in there putting in my application to be Moose replacement as the awkward dad joke and say a PG member of the Van House group. <laughs> Look how well summed up he is in one sentence. Oh, okay, um... <laughs> This is the hardest video I've ever made, and I haven't even started yet. I've got a joke. I thought your hardest video would be every other video that was with me. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> Uh, all right. Making about you again. You'll see why. Okay, so some of you may know that I got into YouTube because I sucked at Black Ops, and then I decided to make my own videos, but I never fully explained why. This probably isn't a big shock, but I've had pretty severe anxiety especially social anxiety my whole life and i thought that making videos could be a way to branch out a bit to help get over it or at least distract me from it i will say that sounds like nearly everyone in the group i know for me for sure i hated going outside yeah me too me too no no no, me no, no. Too. Actually, you were i hated going out no you didn't i hate talk with people yeah. talk with like women beautiful brazilian women in dublin brian hated that and i hated it man i had to okay, play video right. games to fulfill that void <laughs> All right, I guess I also had social anxiety when I started YouTube and I hated going out. I feel like, man, a few other members too. 
few other members too. So Moo's not the only one. I think it's just you, bro. I think it's no, just no, you. No, 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 no. You don't think Evan has social anxiety? Um, definitely. Ev definitely. I don't think before YouTube. You think YouTube give it to him? Yeah, I do. Because he's playing ice hockey or whatever, but then once the sense of not so much Oh, yes, fame, the camera, the, the eyes all on him. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll dig into that once Evan retires and we react to it. <laughs> Whatever that is. Ten years. In two months. Oh, shit, dude. I never expected to get anywhere close to where I am today, and I owe that to the awesome group of friends that I never planned on finding, but I'm so glad that I did. And saying that is going to make what I'm about to say even harder, but I'm stepping away from doing YouTube as a full-time job, and I'm sure you're probably wondering why who's pretty good at rainbow six don't you think yeah he's very good i'm glad you ruined the the this I, whole part of the video just to comment on really that. i was just watching his rainbow six footage and so on and out. <laughs> 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 i was like wait a second moo's really good at rainbow six this whole part i'm so glad i met this group of friends he's pretty good at rainbow isn't it <laughs> Jesus Christ! Hold on, no, it's all gonna make sense. It'll all make sense for you in a second here. There is just no glow. There, great. Great, you ruined the punchline. Fantastic. Oh, I did ruin the punchline. I did ruin his punchline. Oh, I did ruin it. I paused right in the middle of the punchline. Sorry, Brock. Sorry, Brock. Here we go. Go again. Probably wondering why. And um, pretty much the answer is just no glow. All right, bye. <laughs> 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 Ha <laughs> ha! When I watched that, not with Nogla controlling the video, I actually cackled so hard. <laughs> it was so good. So you actually did laugh. You actually did yeah, laugh. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was brilliant. It. Yeah. I thought it was hilarious as well. My reaction was like, that son of a bitch. And then it was like, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. The last part isn't true. Nogla is only a very small reason why I'm doing this. <laughs> That's not true either. Nogla's a great guy. And Nogla's a great, great guy. Nogla's a uh, I'm only messing, guys. <laughs> yeah. dude, dude, the frog nearly climbed out his throat trying to say that. If there was any part of this video that Brock needed to retake, it was that part right there. That was probably his 12th take, that one there. All right, listen to this. There's only a very small reason why I'm doing this. That's not true either. Nogla's a great guy. <laughs> I love we just it. need we just need to insert Pinocchio with his nose getting bigger right there. <laughs> Nogla's a great guy. Drag on him for the last little bit that I can. Thank you, Brock. Thank you. But there's a lot of reasons why I made this decision, and while I'm probably not going to go too deep into all of them, I do want to help you guys get an understanding so it doesn't feel like I'm just ditching you. So first off, my mental and physical health are in a very bad place right now and I need to do some major adjusting to get them where they need to be. Going off what I said earlier, I've always had anxiety and bouts of depression, but right now it's off the charts and YouTube is a big reason why. It's a job that I haven't had success balancing with my normal life and I feel like I always need to be online and active or I'm gonna miss something. Dude, that's so true. The formal, the formal is crazy. It's so true. It's, it's horrible. Every time you like plan a trip or something, like I'm going to Ireland, there's the new Modern Warfare fucking beta. <laughs> and you're just like, like oh, shit, no. dude, I would have loved to have been there for that session. It looks so fun and people are getting views and I'm not getting views and it's just like, like, oh man, ah oh, dude, yeah, the FOMO is real. It actually takes a long time to get over that. You almost need something more important than the work, than the videos, than the group to be like, nah, it's fine, it's whatever. For me, cause I, I'm sure move probably would say the same thing. Before having a kid, it's like, oh, who am I gonna hang out with? Like I'm in another country, I'm not around my family or whatever, and friends are busy. You know what I mean? Like you don't really have people to hang out with, but now that I have a family, I have a fiance and child, I'm like, those are the people I hang out with. It's like, oh yeah, the guys are playing? Yeah, that's perfect. Now I can hang out with my child and my fiance more and all that stuff, this is great. But before it's like, there was no fiance, there was no child, and you were my friends and you were only online and you were recording. So it's like, I guess I'll go on country wall. <laughs> Oh, I'm crunchy. That was literally it. Wow. I don't think you had that issue of no. the formal. 
You because you yeah. actually had IRL friends. I, I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I think why I haven't excelled on YouTube as much as the likes of you is because I've not cared about YouTube like throughout the years. You've definitely had more care and more focus on the let's say let's say FOMO. You know, of yeah, yeah, knowing yeah. what's coming up. Whereas I'm let's say fifty percent of what you are, maybe even a little less. I'm like when I go back to Ireland, I'm seeing my friends and family, and then then YouTube is kind of third, which really speaking is not the correct way to do it. <laughs> But I'm kind of yeah. happy being that way because when I'm older, I might have regretted it if I did it a different way. So that's just how I I do it. Moo kind of touches exactly what on your what you're saying. It's like some people are just happier throwing themselves into their work and staying there, and other people are like, Nah, dude, I need to like balance and I need to have more IRL stuff, yada yada. Yeah, it's easier for me when I'm in America because I don't have many friends here. Yeah. So I'm more work when I'm here. In Ireland, honestly, texting Brian, organizing with Brian, getting anything <laughs> done with Brian while he's in Ireland is is really bad. I'm out seeing the lads. Once you have him, he's in a better mood because he's actually socializing more. But mm. it's harder to get him. A lot of nudges, let's just say that. We're definitely making this about us, but hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully, this just gives an insight that what Moo's going through isn't like an isolated problem. We all have our own versions of things behind the scenes as well. Yeah. Believe it or not, we are actually human beings that exist on your laptops and phones and stuff like that. We have our own little first world problems too. It's just, it hasn't been good for me lately. Uh, which leads me to my next point, even though it's a smaller one to be honest, but I really don't like where the internet is going, both with like YouTube and TikTok and social media in general with their super aggressive algorithms and all that crap. I agree 100% with him. All right, so what Brock is kind of talking about here is how YouTube has evolved since let's say the beginning of his career versus now. In the beginning, Brock could upload like a three, four minute NoobTube montage and people would really like it and YouTube would actually send it to the algorithm. But now if he did a video just as good or better and it's because it's three or four minutes, YouTube won't want to push it. So YouTube is kind of through its algorithm forcing people to make longer videos. And Moo probably doesn't like that. And he probably doesn't like how to grow on YouTube and social media now. You have to be on social media to know what people like and dislike and then hop on trends of different songs or memes and then create like short content all around that to get your name out there, you know what I mean? So it's like you have to do everything now to be a creator. You have to do everything like really well. And Brock just wants to do one thing really well. You have to stay tuned in and Brock doesn't want to just exist on his phone and it becomes like a science. And then it's not about having fun, it's about a formula that you have to adhere by or conform to. Yeah. And I completely agree with everything that he said. The internet has definitely changed. Society has definitely changed. We've been doing this for what, over 10 years now. Of course, it's going to change. It's all about adapting and evolving. And the way it is right now is not great. I'm not going to, at the end of my career, which I don't know when it's going to be, look back and go, man, I missed the 2020s. <laughs> like, not at all. It was 2014 to 2017, that area, 2018. Peak, dude. Peak for where sure. things were yeah. just great. People were accepting just, certain kind of jokes. No matter what we did, we enjoyed as well and now you're walking on eggshells when it comes to what you say now it's super catered towards audience retention rate and and ctr but more retention rate so youtube's like how long could you just keep people on my platform that's what youtube yeah. cares about it's not actual the level of happiness of the person watching it's kind of shitty but it is what it is youtube's literally adapt or die that's why sponsored videos would do poorly because it'll detect normally yeah. a link that'll redirect people off the platform and yeah. youtube the algorithm will punish that video hence why if someone has a sponsored video they get much less views on it because the part of the algorithm will dictate right yeah. you're going to cause people to leave our platform and it gets a lot less audience retention because people skip sponsorships exactly so these are all factors that we have to deal with. And back then, we didn't have to deal with that. Now it's just stressful. I feel like it only started mattering in the past three years. And that's what Brock has like probably just really hated. Exhausted. Really hated the idea of adjusting to that and knowing what you should do, but not wanting to do it. But also gaming in general and how sweaty and serious it's become. As he turns on a fucking dude and headshot. I was about, I, I didn't want to comment that. I, I did not want to comment that. How sweaty, and I'm like, bro, you're snapping on fools in this game. But also gaming in general. Um, how <laughs> it's just so unenjoyable as I just could go an ace here. Uh, yeah. As I drop down while flashed and kill the guy. Gaming this these days, people take it too seriously. This is how much of a dad Brock is. His name is Bluey.fan1297, and that's because it's his 
daughter's favorite show. <laughs> for Christmas, I bought Brock like bluey toys. Ah, uh, wholesome. I think that's what Brock likes the most now is like spending time with his daughter and just having fun. Literally, you know he does because his name is Bluey. Fan. Bluey fan. <laughs> Probably watches it happily with him. Oh, all parents love watching Bluey. Aaliyah literally came to me one time after watching an episode of Bluey and she was crying and I was like, what's wrong? This episode of Bluey. <laughs> oh my God. It's bringing out the worst in people and I feel like I want to be online less and less each day and clearly that isn't really going to work with this job. Don't get me wrong, I still like playing video games, but most of it is the other stuff and the direction everything is going. Yeah. But the main reason I'm doing this is my family and I could spend a long time explaining all of it, but pretty much I feel like I'm letting him down right now. Oh, it's so hard to say, dude. That was the line that I was like, fuck, bro. Yeah. That one, yeah, that one didn't hit me as hard because I can't connect with it. I don't know. Maybe do you feel like you're ever letting your dogs down when you get a 10 out of 10? <laughs> I've let you down. No greenies this month, kids. <laughs> Back on the kibble, boys. <laughs> <laughs> No, this one hit me. I think no matter what, as a dad, the dad guilt's gonna hit, gonna get you. It's gonna get you eventually. Yeah. 100%. And I think the dad guilt was probably killing him. So I related to this big time. I'm letting him down right now, and that's really hard to say. Mm. Um, since it's pretty common to have recording sessions pop up or fall through at a moment's notice, I work a mm -hmm. lot of unpredictable hours, and that's not fair to my wife. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. This is true. That's why me and Brian, we have a schedule now. <laughs> oh, yeah. We thought we now were, we do. Yeah, we, we were feeling it out. I, we were feeling I it out. I demanded a schedule. Yeah, we eventually got that. We were feeling it out first, right? Oh, Brian, I'm, I'm taking a shit. This might take a while. Uh, yeah, hours. yeah. Let's look, man, never <laughs> rush a guy taking a shit, okay? Today, I was taking a shit right in the middle of one. It wasn't a nice one. And Brian just texted me, hurry up. We're ready to record at one. And for some reason, his yeah, sphincter yeah, goes, yeah. Oh, one, oh, one p.m. Time to do my time. It's actually the most common reason for me being late to the gym as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's funny. I do be pooping funny. I work a lot of unpredictable hours, and that's not fair to my wife. And having her just drop everything to cater to, to my schedule. And on top of that, I'm being a horrible example to both my kids in terms of the content and the videos I make and the focus I have with my job because even in the times that I'm not actually down in my office I'm still constantly thinking about work and pulling out my phone and it's it's not good and I feel horrible mm, about it I thought about this one too having a kid and growing up and seeing the content but then I also think about it like I hope she finds me funny <laughs> she, hope she finds me funny. She might. She, she definitely might. finds you funny. I say definitely finds you funny. I say a joke, and I'm just like, will she laugh at that in 15 years? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it is definitely a really good point and something I consider. I did tone it down a bit. Swearing, I toned it down. I think the jokes got a bit darker. It's a really good point by Brock, and it's also something that I find like when I need to get like a thumbnail done, and my daughter's trying to get my attention, but I, the thumbnail actress is like, what do you think of this? and I'm just like uh, 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 you know I'm kind of torn between the two it kind of sucks it, it's it's nice like to be able to cut things off so I changed my work personally to bring in like people that can handle that stuff like thumbnails and titles and I give direction and then I just know they can go do it you probably have something like that too right Brian I zoned out <laughs> <Okay. laughs> oh it's fine way. let's keep playing so what's next for me well, it's not glamorous, but I accepted a job with normal hours and a more predictable schedule where I can go to an actual building instead of my own house, work, mm. then come home and just be done with it so I can spend time with my family and help around the house. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not going to be as fun as getting to mess around in video games with my friends, but it's something I can still be proud of. Yeah, that's a good point. When you said going out of the building, that's a super important point. Like it, it kind of goes a little like understated because if you don't know, but it's like he records in his basement. I'm sure Brock's like me, where if he's recording and there's like trouble, let's say upstairs, let's say one of the kids is having a really bad tantrum or maybe they had a really bad accident. Or Lene's being a bitch. Yeah, maybe Lene is just, a, you know, what Brian said. If you're, if you're working and you're hearing that, you're gonna want to go you want to step up and you want to go help your kid it's literally just your instincts i noticed my in myself quite a lot in ireland i have an office that's like outside in its own little building and so when i would work in there i'd be far more tuned in and i wouldn't 
like be worried as much about what's going on in the house or whatever, you know, Elia's got to cover. But here in America, we're in the same building and the wall's kind of thin and everything like that. So it's, it's like if I hear something and it sounds like a bad cry, I'm just gone, bro. I'm literally just getting up and I'm just like, God, I got to go do something. So yeah, I'm sure Brock has experienced that a lot where he's wanted to do that. I've had this channel for 12 years. I'm pretty sure maybe even 13, 12 and a half, let's say 12 and a half. So I'm having a real hard time seeing myself just completely walking away from it. Right now, the plan is to still record a video or two when I have some time. And I also have some old videos that I never uploaded that I'm sure will finally have their time in the sun as well as some spare parts clips that I need to compile and make a video or two out of. So pretty much I'm not going away. I just won't be around as much. Wow. What do you think? What do you think of that one, Brian? I think Brock is using two Smurf accounts. <laughs> Moose washed. <laughs> two <more laughs> I just noticed the reason why he's using Bluey fan is because he's playing with the main Moo one with the guys that has put him in these really tough lobbies for skill-based matchmaking that I think he has these two accounts to just dick on people. Oh, uh, yeah. This is how Moo relaxes. Sorry, he's sorry. He's insanely good sorry. at Rainbow Six and gets a Smurf account and shits on people. <laughs> yeah, I was looking at the user. I was like, yeah, that's actually wait great. a second. That's amazing. <laughs> so what did he say? I don't remember anymore now. <laughs> Fuck, I, I am so sorry. I bet she's watched this going, I'm not gonna miss these guys at all. Not these two Irish bollocks. There's no <laughs> way, dude. So Brian, what do you think? I think he's using two smurf accounts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fucking funny. Uh sorry. I'm also not starting my new job for another week. So I'm gonna try to get a lot recorded and I definitely want to do one last stream as well to give a proper goodbye to everyone. Yeah, Mario Kart stream. Go over to it, make sure you're subscribed guys. I just want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me in this channel over the years, whether it's from watching, subbing, liking, donating. And I especially want to say thank you to all the mods that have helped. I really do appreciate all of you. And I consider myself extremely fortunate to have had this as my job for as long as I have. Um, but I'm not going to keep you any longer. Oh, man. So, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Yeah, happy ending. He got that outro from me, guys. He got that. He kind of he kind of did a little Nogla voice at the end. <laughs> I'm secretly his favorite. He likes me. <laughs> I checked the group chat. Uh, yeah, can we all play tomorrow? And my last wish is Nogla's not there. <laughs> no, you said that. You were yeah, like, I, I won't be I there, know. too. I'm You're like, joking. oh, here we go. Who goes in the chat when I goes games tomorrow? He goes, yeah, you need one last Vanus Palooza. I goes, Whatever you want, man. I'll even skip. <laughs> Guys, make sure you're subscribed for his last ever stream. And he True. needs to make he make that bank. Send yeah, him off. Make, send him give off. Give him a good send off. Give him a little good pension plan there. Mu put in pro, pro, something pretty funny in the group chat yesterday as well. I won't read it exactly, but he basically said, uh, you know that new video I uploaded? It got 14k new subs from it. Someone make it make sense. <laughs> it's like, yeah. hey guys, I'm leaving YouTube. Oh, I'm subscribing to this guy. <laughs> then what did I say? <laughs> Next video, I'm back. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> <Yeah>. Moose. Psych. <laughs> hey guys, uh, so uh, just saw I'm now trending and this is the most viewed video in the longest time. I really hope Brock put ads on that video. I hope he put ads on it. Well, I'm putting ads on my retirement. God damn. Seeing his video's performance here, I might retire next week. It is insane. <laughs> but he actually had some tweets as well. This was one of the tweets he did recently. It's pretty cool having a video be one out of 10 and hit 10. It actually hit number eight on my phone. On trending on YouTube, which I've never had happen before, but then I remember what the video was and get bummed out. Yeah. This is like such a funny, sad tweet, bro. The internet's annoying. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. You don't know what you got till it's gone, yeah, guys. You don't know what you got till it's gone. But seriously, thank you for the love. This is this is Moo's final response on it. For the love of my video, it's taken me a while to say that because it's still processing that it's actually happening. And I'm blown away by the support from everyone and I really don't know what to say. And needless to say, I replied, can I react to this tweet for a one out of 10 too? Jesus. And here we are. Jesus Christ. Everyone's like, love you, bro. We'll miss you, man. Can I react to this for a one out of 10? <laughs> Shameless. Oh, dude, look, that's what Moo hates on YouTube and what I hate too, but you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh.
that's a good video. Brian, what's sick? Yeah, it's a sad one. But as retirement videos go, I think Brock had a banger. It was nicely worded and everything. He spoke very well, very clearly, got his points across, and I think it was a very, very good job. So thumbs up. You're the man. Yeah, he is the man. Hit the end of the video. Like, subscribe, and all the good stuff.